celebrating my 35th year this year as a member of the Beatrix Potter Society. And I've, it's been a thrill for me to be involved with the society for that long. I give lots of talks in the United States about Beatrix Potter. I really have a passion for her as a woman, and I have a passion for the society. It'd be interesting to think that if she were alive today, what a mighty force she would be with regard to climate change and conservation. I knew the stories as a child, but it wasn't until I became a teacher that I started becoming very interested in, in, in her work. And um, holidaying in the Lake District, um, I bought Judy Taylor's book way, way back, far too many years ago to admit, and read that as the first biography and just became fascinated really. Because the more we have of different ideas, different suggestions, different ages, different enthusiasm, the stronger the society will be going forward. So I look after the chapels and the, the collection within Hilltop and the Beatrix Potter Gallery in Hawkshead. And so those two properties, those two National Trust properties, are, are part of my portfolio. And they house the most wonderful collection of Beatrix's own objects, the things that she really wanted to keep and preserve for the nation. Um, and if you're interested in Beatrix Potter, it's the best place to get in touch with experts who know about different aspects of her life, whether it's the little books or her time as a farmer in the Lake District. Through the Beatrix Potter Society, you'll have access to anybody who knows the answer to your questions. Mm -hmm.